welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel this video is going to have two parts the first part is about my recently purchased fiat 500e and the second part is going to be about the day trip that i took today in a very positive way so i bought the car 10 days ago by now and it had 9970 kilometers on the odometer now it has 700 more so i've been driving it a lot in only a few days luckily i was able to strike a deal with the seller in order that i will be able to pay for the car in two installments the first in installment has already been wired that's why i received the car and the second installment will be due in august of 2025. with that said let's start with a quick walk around of the car this is the fiat 500e la prima which is the highest spec available of this car this is one of its launching colors a magnificent green depending on how the light uh, reaches the car it slightly changes color from uh, green to blue it comes with 17 inch alloy wheels that look absolutely fantastic and i have to admit that they are damaged a little bit not by me but by the previous owner but i've arranged with the seller that they are going to take a look at that and hopefully sort it out perfectly here on the side we have this uh, chrome chrome insert of the car and uh, the door handles they look absolutely fine and here in the back obviously we have the charging port so anyone who's somehow been involved with electric cars uh, knows how it's working we have ac and dc fast charging it's rather easy if you know your way and here we have the charging lights about the uh, charging status if you don't have your mobile phone uh, with you you can easily check here here in the back we have a uh, couple new things and, and an easter egg one of many first of all we have the new fiat badging here and a 500 e badging here on the back as well and in the taillights a little bit hidden is the 500 logo as well in the inside of the cabin we have a little bit more easter eggs this nice roof spoiler looks very sporty and again suits the car very well here in the back we have again the la prima badging and the chrome insert so let's take a look of the inside of the car i absolutely love those vegan leather seats with the 500 badging here and fiat stitched all over the place so you don't mistake the car for anything else in the back it's for small people it would be okay for a little bit taller people it will be less than okay so let me just take a step in the seat is now in its most forward position so for me with one meter 70 there's decent room leg room isn't available too much but still not too uncomfortable i have a little bit of head space but anyone who is taller than 175 in the most forward seating position of the driver's seat won't have any uh, decent space here so the ride would be very uncomfortable so let's just get out of here and talk a little bit more about the interior let me just quickly put the seat in another position oh, that's better here we have the center screen the car is right now 78% uh, of charge which equates to 187 kilometers of reach obviously uh, in, in range mode here more on the uh, driving methods in a bit switch that off quickly not on off here we have the central screen it is very beautiful in my opinion because it is not not too tall and you can see outside of the car very easily in a few new modern ev cars the monitor is a little bit taller and yeah i i really don't appreciate that here we have manual controls amazing not everything is uh, over the touch screen here we have the gear selector obviously uh, there's not much to explain here a cup holder a big one here we have the range modes so the car has three uh, driving modes regular range and sherpa mode regular mode has no recuperation the car starts immediately uh, after you lift off the brakes on on street lights and so on range mode has some recuperation and i've been using it for most of the time 
it uh, works really well and the sherpa mode has obviously the most recuperation and it switches off for example heating and cooling in order to save energy and thus having most reach here i have the volume button which i have on the steering wheel as well as well here is another storage cubby a small one where i have my wallet for now the glove compartment is decently sized and yeah that is almost everything about the interior there is a funny thing as well with the, with the doors there is two ways to open them here over this button it is an electronical opening you just have to push the button and open the door and in case that this doesn't work here farther down we have the manual one so pull it and open the door so let me just quickly show you the motor of the car and it's it's everything else it uh, suits the car very well it is not too big but sufficiently sized and it comes with struts which is very welcomed so here we have the motor it's a 42.3 kilowatt hour battery with 118 horsepower of output which is enough for this car and obviously okay for me and that is basically it for this quick walk around of the car so part two of the video my road trip today summer is coming to, a, to an end in about a month and the weather was beautiful so at 6 a.m i started my my trip and i went to gmunden of course i've been to gmunden last year or two years ago with marcin and his brother-in-law with our two fiat 126ps and the fiat 500 however this time around i drove to the Gmundnerberg, which is the highest elevation there with amazing views i took some photos there i did a short clip and then from there on i had my first charging stop i needed to take a break and i let the car charge for 40 minutes but it was a slow charging spot so it only charged like six and a half kilowatts but was enough for me to get to the next stop which was the Wolfgangsee or along the Wolfgangsee again uh, some time ago with Marcin and with his brother-in-law on that same tour we went there and I was trying to to make some photos at the spot where we were but sadly there were a lot of tourists and I couldn't find the spot so I drove farther along to St. Gilgen and there I managed to get in the same spot that we were uh, back then and I took some photos I recorded a YouTube short and it was or this this place St. Gilgen especially with uh, such a beautiful day like it was today is the best representation for austria nice people amazing views the scenery with the mountains in the back absolutely fantastic and from st gilgen i drove uh, along the monsee and from there i went home but prior to to driving home i had to recharge the car because i've had i have only 37 percent or something left and that wouldn't suffice until i uh, reached home so i recharged it to 76 percent it was a very slow process and it took one and a half hours so in the meantime i recorded uh, short clips for my other social media and uh, then i hopped in the car i bought the vignette for the austrian autobahn in order to save time of getting home and I wasn't sure if I was going uh, to, to the Czech Republic in the late afternoon but as I arrived home at 2 p.m. it was already too late so I postponed it for another time and so there's definitely something coming up shortly if the weather allows it and that is basically it for this video uh, I am a very proud owner of a Fiat 500e a Fiat 126p and uh, i'm joyful i'm very much looking forward to what will be happening and on the topic of uh, the fiat 126p i've mentioned already a few months ago 
that I need to make an appointment for a technical inspection in order to be able to drive it. And I tried three times. And every time I was told that the next appointment is in a couple of weeks, uh, five weeks, six weeks, and so on and so forth. And I really didn't want to wait. I wanted to have it done immediately. So I'm still missing the technical inspection on the car. And I'm really thinking about, does it make even any sense to have it done now? Because if I do it now, it will only be valid until December. And in Austria, we can do it a month earlier. So if I do it now, it will only be valid for September, October, and November. But if I get an appointment immediately, I will do it. If not, then I will do it in November. But I will definitely use this car for now. I'm enjoying it. I will be recording hopefully more videos and on a more regular basis. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave your comments down below, and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.